Alright, so tell us a little bit about your journey and how you've gotten to where you've been and where you come from and when you came to Australia and a bit of your story, man. Yeah, absolutely, man. So basically, I came, uh, I came to Australia in 2005, so approximately 17 years ago, and I uh, came on a student visa. I did my Bachelor's of Business uh, from Central Queensland University. I finished my uh, my course in 2008. I applied for my residency and uh, permanent residency and got that one. In the meantime, my time as an international student was was the toughest time of my life. You know, coming to a new country and uh, experiencing you know barriers, a cultural shock, uh, language barrier. And uh, just, just the way of living was completely different. Hungry Jacks was my first job. Used to get about $13 or something in account after working so many hours doing overtime shifts. Uh, I have done multiple of jobs, man. I've done so many jobs. I always wanted to work with uh, indigenous people, uh, locals, Australians, uh, and help them out working in, in the communities and in remote uh, Australia. So I moved to Darwin in Northern Territory in 2011, started working in this disability industry. I worked for Life Without Barriers uh, for a few years and then moved up to uh, work in a youth industry uh, as a youth detention officer in Dondale Youth Detention Centre and helping them out uh, in going in the right path uh, and helping them achieve their goals through a good support system actually motivated me even more to work harder and to do something for the community and uh, that's my main goal as well now working as a gym owner to help a youth uh, to re-engage back in the community and be part of a society that's my passion and i love my job yeah so i got married in 2014 blessed with the daughter in Aya in 2017. When certain people come in your life and everything just goes your way, especially when in Aya was born, since then it's just, it's just, you know, uh, another level was added basically. Absolutely my mother as well. So these three women in my life has made a huge impact. I saw this opportunity uh, online of this gym on sale, which is which is, which I'm which I'm owner of, and I'm I'm blessed to have it. Uh, Peak Fitness uh, in September, uh, when I actually signed up the contract and uh, we opened up uh, with the management was uh, given over to me. Uh, the best the best experience when I got the gym was the expressions of my dad. <laughs> it was. Uh, uh, it was kind of an eye-opener for him because he always used to say that why you're competing, what you're going to get out of it. You should stop competing, you should just stop focusing on, start focusing on yourself. You know, it's not going to give, get you a good job. So when, when the, the gym was given, given to me, handed out to me, I took him with me. He didn't even know that I'm in the process of buying a gym. So that was a complete surprise for him. Uh, I already informed the owner, uh, the previous owner, that make sure when I come there, you hand the keys over to my dad, not me. So <laughs> when the previous owner gave the keys to my dad and said, this is your gym now, then my dad was like, oh my God, are you serious, you know? Congratulations. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> I've always been a sportsman from school times. So 2014 was my first comp. The gym came up with, uh, with the 12 week body transformation program. Uh, and that actually 12 week challenge uh, is what changed my life. Uh, the owner, uh, Cheryl, um, came to me and she's like, you should actually compete. Uh, there's a comp happening in, in September, around September. And I've never ever thought of competing. I just want a beautiful body, you know, like a beach body. So she's the one who actually got me into, uh, into this 
by seeing the potential I have. And in my first very comp, I came third in men's physique. I had no idea how to pause. And you know, my next goal was to beat the body that I brought on the first comp. Then that's how I started my, my comps. I used to do like two comps a year. Every, mostly every year I have competed and then it went to Bali to compete internationally. You know, where athletes from all different countries came and competed. And I placed, uh, I placed uh, first place there as well. What's your name? Inaya. Who's your dad? Sol. Sol. And is he training hard? Yes. No, 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 seriously, you, you'll see how your strength... I'm telling you, because if you were able to make it for 45 minutes, the main concern was, my concern was nausea, dizziness, short of breathness. Okay, so fitness level is good. It's just the soreness of muscles, and which is normal. Man, I'm only two days out, basically. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday is my comp. I'm really depleted, depleted to the max. I've been on low calories and low carbs for the last uh, couple of weeks, and uh, start to carb load slowly. Still drinking heaps, heaps, heaps of water. My sleep is getting compromised as well, because it's a peak week, which is natural, but I'm not leaving any stone unturned. I'm giving, all, giving it all after win. It's always competitive. It'll be, a good, it'll be a good comp, and it's good to see young boys and you know the athletes who've been competing for a while being sharing stage with me will be amazing. Right now, I'm feeling motivated. I'm fully pumped. I can't wait to get this done. It's been, uh, it's been 12 to 16 weeks prep, a long prep. Mentally, you feel exhausted, but hey, I'm going to come stronger than ever. Parked up outside in the old school. The new me back with the OU. The dog always finds his way back home, and it's so true. Get a home, fall through, and pop one. You know the model smoke some drink some pop one I woke up I was so dry I was feeling so confident I went backstage and started pumping and had my carbs uh, and as soon as I was pumping I could see other boys as well you know pumping hard but you know when you have worked hard when you look around you know that you have got this I give my best my tanning was spot on my conditioning was good and here comes Visualizing what I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna, you know, do my posing. Anything could happen last minute on stage, pausing wise, you know, uh, maybe uh, your pump is gone before you even go get on the stage, you know, your tanning start to come out, anything can happen.
I won my class and uh, lost uh, against uh, uh, the tall class uh, Tom. I did everything I could, but for judges, maybe there was very close competition between me and him. Uh, came home and spoke to my coach. We started a prep for the nationals straight away. Call how it is. Hit it. Pros and swags, man. Let's hit it. Yo. Percocet. Miley Percocet. Percocet. Miley Percocet. Replicit. Gotta replicit. Chase a chick. Never chase a bitch. Chase no bitch. Mask on, fuck it, mask on. Mask on, fuck it, mask on. Percocet, Miley Percocet. Chase a chick, never chase a bitch. Chase no bitch. Two cups. I have, uh, I put on more size on my delts. I was looking wider, with better conditioning. When I saw the list, I was like, New South Wales state champion there. South Australia state champion, Western Australia state champion, Victoria state champion. So all the state champions were in short class. So here we are. I was in the middle from the right at the beginning to the end. If I win this short class, I will crack the pro card. Uh, did my right posing and won the short class and here we are uh, Tom and I we both were on the stage again for the second time Today, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big cheer. Let's really get involved. Over to you. the I looked at my best, and what I could do is just give, give my best. Thank you. This is your moment to shine. Come back tomorrow. What do you think about the decision, ever? Ah, oh, it's oh, I like it's a game. So you sometimes. What you think doesn't happen, but uh, yeah, gave me the game, so it's all good. And I'm, I'm still happy he beat three uh, overalls from three different states. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we can't really fight with something, so I'm happy for him. Baby, baby, there will always be space for you and me, right where you left it. And just maybe Enough time will pass We'll look back and laugh Just don't forget it And maybe I'm wrong For writing this song Losing my head over you Oh
always, I'm always, ways, ways. Pretty lady, you so hard with me. Down blow whole street. Oh, what a time. And I still remember the fussing, the fighting, the fucking, the lying. Oh